friends today we'll talk about ecmo what is ecmo what are the various types of ecmo what are the indications and what is the criteria for starting ecmo and what are the contraindications for ecmo first of all what is ecmo ecmo is extra corporeal membrane oxygenation it is the application of modified cardiopulmonary bypass to the neonates with the cardiac or respiratory failure who are not managed with the conventional measures of treatment or with the optimal ventilatory settings now about the different types of ecmo the first is the veno arterial ecmo in veno arterial ecmo the drainage is from the single vein either internal jugular vein or femoral vein and it is returned to the arterial side the internal carotid artery also it supports both the respiratory and the cardiac system right the second is your veno venous arterial ecmo in this the drainage is from the two different pulmonary veins and return is to the arterial side the third is your veno venous ecmo this veno venous ecmo supports only the respiratory system so it is used in the cases of respiratory failure with hemodynamic stability hemodynamic stability which is actually secondary to the hypoxia fourth is veno venous venous ecmo and then fifth is your uh, vvdl that is veno venous double lumen ecmo in this what happens a single catheter is used and that single catheter has got the two two lumens two lumens in a single catheter and through those two different lumens one is the return into the arterial side and one is the drainage to the venous side exit ecmo ex utero intra partum ecmo why the newborn is on the placental uh, support only the vessels are cannulated the indications are in case of severe congenital diaphragmatic hernia in cases where there is airway obstruction secondary to the large neck masses the mediastinal masses right in all those conditions it is indicated then there is one ecmo that is called the rapid response ecmo or ecmo cpr that is e cpr that is ecmo which is used for uh, cardio pulmonary resuscitation in this what happens a uh, uh, previously saline primed ecmo circuit is used by the expert ecmo team after an effective cpr uh, uh, to the patients right and that is very effective uh, now regarding the indications of ecmo ecmo can be used in only uh, cases of respiratory failure and cardiac failure which are reversible now first of all we'll talk about the respiratory failure respiratory failure again only the reversible causes of respiratory failure like in case of congenital diaphragmatic hernia in meconium aspiration syndrome in uh, uh, persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn in rds in uh, neonatal sepsis in case of pneumonias and in case of uh, in case of uh, pulmonary leaks which are actually not manageable by the uh, uh, chest drainage and the optimum ventilatory settings uh, now second is the cardiac failure causes the first is the low uh, cardiac output syndromes despite of the maximum hemodynamic support the second is in case of the congenital heart defects it can be used as a bridge uh, to definitive treatment till uh, the newborn or the neonate becomes clinically stable then cardiac arrest with reversible underlying cause the sec uh, the next is failure to wean from the cardio pulmonary bypass in case of cardiomyopathies it can be used and in case of persistent pulmonary hypertension of the newborn then another indication as a rapid response ecmo it can be used and as an exit ecmo it can be used now what is the criteria for uh, starting ecmo the first uh, thing is that the uh, severity of respiratory failure it actually depends upon the oxygenation index so what is the criteria on serial abg if oxygenation index is more than 40 within 1 hour the patient need to be started on the ecmo with one uh, oxygenation index more than 60 with uh, high frequency ventilatory supports uh, also while the patient is on ventilator you have to uh, do serial monitoring with the oxygenation index to assess the severity of respiratory failure when oxygenation index is more than 
and with the maximum ventilatory support and at a center where ECMO support is not available, you need to shift the patient at center where ECMO support is actually available. Now, what about the various contraindications for ECMO? The first is all the irreversible causes of your respiratory or cardiac failures when CPR is done for more than one hour, all the lethal chromosomal uh, anomalies like chromosomal anomaly 13 and 18 but not 21. When the gestational age is less than 34 weeks because of the risk of intraventricular or interparenchymal uh, hemorrhage, when the weight is less than 1.5 kg because of the limitation of the cannula size availability, in cases of severe coagulability, in cases of progressive chronic lung disease, these are all the limitations of your uh, ECMO. In my next video on ECMO, I'll cover the following topics, the physiology or working of ECMO, the prerequisites before starting ECMO, management of the patient while on ECMO, what are the various criteria uh, before decannulation and stopping the ECMO, what are the various complications of ECMO and what are the special situations that arises during ECMO. Thank you.